what's good youtube fam welcome back if you're a returning subscriber and hello to all the new viewers because we have been growing like crazy recently because i got like five to six subscribers in the past 24 hours so i think that is a lot of growth for the channel i think that's probably the most subscribers i gotten overnight you, you you said you could get five to six subscribers in like 10 minutes that's cool you got it you got it but as i was saying i know i said i wasn't gonna post part two to this series until i got 10 likes on the first video but uh, i'm not even gonna lie i ain't had no video for today but if you haven't seen part one to this go make sure you watch part one so you're all caught up before i tell you guys what's going on in this video make sure you do smash that like button so we actually can get 10 likes on this one and i actually can make part three with 10 likes on part two but also if you haven't seen my new profile picture and banner go check that out i was going for like a retro 80 slash island type of theme but with all that being said let's go ahead and get into today's video today's video is going to be about niching down and if you don't know what niching down is that's probably going to be one of the most like crucial points of your youtube channel because basically what niching down means niching down in simpler terms Terms basically just means like um, picking a game so that's really all it is niching down literally just means to pick a game and the reason the reason you have to pick a game or niche down is because YouTube's algorithm like it favors people who like stick to one game that's like almost all my videos are focused around Call of Duty and also a little secret creator tip if you on like your laptop I don't know if it's on mobile I don't think you could do it on the YouTube studio app but if you like on your laptop and you go to the um in the section where you edit in your video you about to post it like you can actually like pick what game you plan and like every single time I post a video I always make sure I pick that it's Call of Duty because I'm pretty sure that it does help it get like recommended to people who watch Call of Duty content so I would definitely recommend using that feature if you if you post your videos on your computer but the most important part about niching down niching down is really not that complicated the most important part I would say about niching down picking a game that's like relevant because like if you just go and pick like because your favorite youtuber they might make a video on a game that's like it might not really have to be that popular because they already have an audience that's gonna watch them no matter what but if you just starting out you have to pick like a relevant game so people People have a reason to come watch you like for example fortnite is probably still the main contender right now valorant is upcoming warzone like i'm playing it's a lot of games you could choose but i just wouldn't recommend picking like a dead game to try to start off with because when you do that it's really hard to grow because the smaller the game like the smaller the audience and usually with like smaller games like for example they usually already have like a big content creator that everybody goes to for that game so that's why when you pick somewhat bigger game with a larger audience you have an easier way to expand your audience instead of having to compete with like a super big youtuber so i definitely recommend like going on google trends if you don't know what google trends is it's basically like a website or app it, it, you go in there and it tells you like what's like trending basically so you can look up your game and like see like how popular it is like within the last 50 days 10 days and just decide if that's the game you want to do yeah you really have to niche down like right from the start because what's going to happen if you start posting a whole bunch of different games like when you first make your channel like when you first post your channel and you and you you have to stick to one game because what's gonna happen if you start posting a whole bunch of different games you're not really gonna get into any recommendations because youtube doesn't know what your channel is about but if you start a game a channel and say you just post a minecraft videos minecraft tutorials minecraft how to's you're gonna get in more minecraft viewers recommendations so that's why i have to niche down but speaking of niching down there's also a thing called sub niching and what that basically means is like picking a sub niche and a sub niche you could kind of do it when you first start out you i kind of did it like my sub niche i would say right now is like the xbox type of videos like if you go on my channel and you look i probably have like two videos right now of like xbox tutorials one is how to change your gaming tag for free and one is um how to change your how to get a free month of xbox go with ultimate game pass so basically like you can have a sub niche that's okay but i wouldn't like oversaturate it like i only have two xbox videos like that and i probably have like 10 call of duty videos but the crazy part is that that's why that's why i like sub niching because one of my the video in my sub niche which was i think how to change your game tag for free that is actually my most viewed video on my channel so that just goes to show that like having a sub niche isn't a bad thing but having like too many games like oversaturating your channel with a whole bunch of different games that's really not good for your channel and another thing i want to talk about when it comes to niching down is going to be like even if you do niche down and you find a game you're going to play what are you going to be about in that game are you gonna do how to's are you gonna be are you gonna do gameplays walkthroughs tutorials cut commentaries you really have to like niche niche down like niching down doesn't mean just like picking a game it really means like say i pick call of duty i could pick best loadout videos i could pick a uh, top five list i could pick you see what i mean basically how to unlock camos niching down is really important and although it's not that deep well there's probably is a lot of creators who could really go into deep detail into it with the thing with this series i'm going to try to like keep it short and simple to the point so to go ahead and over 
summary review about what I just went over and what I want you to take away from this video is one, you have to find a niche. What is a niche? You have to pick a game and what you're going to be about on that game. Two, a sub niche is basically a second type of category of content on your channel. And you have to make sure that you don't oversaturate your sub niche with your main niche. You don't want it to be like a 50 50 balance. You want it to be like a 90% to 10% balance, nine to one ratio. And the last thing is don't oversaturate your channel with a whole bunch of different games and just look like like i said earlier make sure you don't play a whole bunch of different random games make sure you pick a relevant game but that is all for today's video today's video was a bit shorter if you did enjoy this video leave a like on it and subscribe because almost like 80 percent of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed like i'm trying to figure out like i don't, I don't know like why you're not trying to subscribe g oh yeah you just gotta slide down a little bit look hit that red button and press that bell everybody likes bells like you gotta you gotta hit the bell so, so you can be part of the noted gang but i'm not gonna drag the video out too long because i have to work on i i got an amazing video in the works for y'all i ain't gonna i ain't gonna say too much all i'm gonna say is uh make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification so you can see it right when i drop it i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow also if you haven't seen my new profile picture and banner go check that out i was going for like a retro 80 slash island type of theme peace